I think you can win and be a great competitor without feeling competitive. And when I mean feeling competitive, not feeling like you can't compete, but I mean feeling like you don't need to compare. Because bodybuilding is so subjective. I feel like if you just ha if you rate yourself, if you're like, yeah, do you know what I like? What I look like, I'm good. Turn up and do your thing. You can win. And then there's no damage done. All right, guys. I am uh, driving to my friend's shop, Jim Beast, today. It's uh, Sunday the 10th, I think, of September. It's been really, really hot here in the UK. Probably heard a lot of us moaning about how warm it is, but I kid you not, it may not look it right now. What's the temperature? I don't know. I've got my car on 18 degrees just to keep me keep me cool because it's been really hot. But outside, it must be, uh, well, it's got to be like the high 20s or something. I don't even know where to look in my car to see because I'm not very familiar with the tech. But yeah, it's definitely really hot outside. I had a shower before I uh, left my house. And by the time I was out of the shower, I was wetter than during. <laughs> I, like, I got out of the shower and I was soaking wet, just sweating to try and cool down. And I, and I had a cold shower as well. It wasn't even a hot shower. Maybe it would have been smart to have a hot shower. Maybe that makes you cool down because then the temperature outside is less than what you just had on you from the water. I don't know. I'm still trying to learn. Anyway, I'm just off to my friend's shop i'm not really doing much today because today's a rest day uh, it's been a really busy week of training and trying to squeeze in all the food it's been pretty tough last night was a bit rough i went to bed far from hungry like very far from hungry and uh, i had to wait honestly till about 4 a.m to get one of my meals in because i just couldn't stomach it don't know why really some days are just like that not every day some days i can train a small body part and be more hungry than the day where i've trained a large one i can't pinpoint why it's like that I had to double up training yesterday because uh, last Friday I was in uh, Cheltenham viewing properties to rent while I'm uh, while I'm there. You know, we're getting the gym open in December and stuff. If you didn't know, opening a gym in December in Cheltenham. So I have to be situated there. Instead of selling my house here, I wouldn't mind doing, but at the same time, I don't want to let go of an asset. I've just tried to work out figures and see if I'm able to afford having somewhere that's not too pricey to rent. So I have found a place um, and I believe we have got it. It's just a little two bed house in a really nice part of Cheltenham. You know, I live in Croyd and this is where I'm going through right now. And it's just, I don't know, I think I've just been here too long. You just kind of get ground down, don't you, by being in the same place for your entire life. I'm 34 years old now. Yeah, I've pretty much lived in this particular area the entirety of my life. You know, as long as there's a lot of nostalgia and a lot of comforts here, it's also changed a lot. Something that I'm not so keen on, uh, a little bit over, you know, overly populated. It feels a bit ghetto sometimes. Although I, you know, I grew up with uh, you know, around a culture that was kind of, I suppose, more like that, especially with the music and stuff I listen to. As you get older, you just kind of want to change. Opportunity came to obviously open the gym and uh, in a different area, so I thought, why not? Let's, let's 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 just have a change. You know, I'm I'm scared every day I wake up. I fear change, I, and I go to bed at night and I wake up like late, like I did last night to eat, and um, I'm and I think about oh shit, like do you trust your own instincts? Are you sure? Are you prepared and all this? And then I'm kind of like at the same time, I don't think you're prepared till you put yourself in it. I always remember having conversations with friends of mine who are parents. And when they used to talk about like having children now, they're like, you don't wake up in the morning like, you know, tomorrow I'm going to be ready for a kid. You have a kid and then you climatize and adjust and become the best parent you can be. And I suppose it's the same with business. You know, it's at a public gym because people have been asking, they're like, is it public or are we allowed to come? Yeah, of course you are. It's a, it's a public gym. It's open to everybody and um, you know our pricing structure and stuff is just getting finalized at the minute I don't want to say any numbers without having everything you know specifically pinned but it's very affordable it's a good space it's you know like 2,000 square foot of like reception slash changing rooms 8,000 square foot of gym space nice tall ceilings plenty of light loads of windows back access front access yeah it's just a really good it's a good place you might have seen like a quick snippet on my um, Instagram if you follow me on Instagram we all have the page obviously for the gym as well um, which is the uh, train by JP X shared official so if you do want to follow updates and stuff over the coming weeks there'll be a lot more updates I I'm gonna be in um, Cheltenham from the end of the month pretty much permanently so once I'm down there I'm pretty confident that things will happen at a really good rate because I think it just takes someone being there and I, I think it, it's me that needs to be there because I think um, I'm the one person that can with my schedule. The one fortunate um, thing about being a professional bodybuilder is as long as you eat your meals and whatnot, you do have time to be somewhere, especially if it's the gym, because I can always, um, you know, as we develop and as the gym starts to get more um, further along the, pro the progress, the process, the progress, whatever you want to call it, 
uh, I'll be able to probably do some workouts in there while I'm overseeing some stuff as well. So that's that. I am uh, haven't really been on YouTube much, and it's just because I'm just trying to sort out shit really. I'm trying to be an adult really. I think there's a lot of adult things on my mind lately. It's funny. It's a 30 mile an hour zone, and people like take over me by going 40 and then get come back in. I have to go 30 anyway. But yeah, there's just a lot of stuff just trying to iron out. Um, Ian retired the other day from bodybuilding, and obviously that's um, something that it has a bit of an impact on even me um, because, you know, I'm actually older than Ian, if you didn't know, by a couple of years. Being older than him, always trying to work out where am I in my career, where do I want to be, uh, you know, trying to just, I suppose just trying to work out what you should be doing at what time in your life. When I see other people around me make decisions uh, that are big and final like that, then it obviously resonates with me to a degree. Like a lot of the feelings that Ian was talking about in this uh, video were like, they were, well, it felt like a lot of what he said was just extracted straight from my head. So it's amazing how much, you know, in tune with other people you feel. Um, Ian, I've always felt like I'm very much alike. It may not come across that way and I probably deliberately don't show the same side because you don't want to be a copycat, but the feelings we have are very, very similar. Perhaps, it's, you know, the pressures and everything. I think we both have the same sort of um, mindset towards things. So watching that video, you know, it just really kind of hit home. Um, you know, I go to bed some nights feeling on top of the world and like I can achieve everything and anything. Absolutely no limit to my potential. You know, other days you wake up and you're like, you feel like you're past your potential. So um, I think that's very normal. It's very normal. It doesn't change the fact that it's hard. You know, it doesn't matter if something's normal. If it's still hard for you, it's still hard for you. And I know a lot of you that listen to my stuff uh, feel very similar as well. It's all good where someone's like, yeah, don't worry about it, it's normal, it's fine, we all feel that way. Yeah, it's cool, but you still struggle, didn't you? And I, I'm like, yeah, I still fucking struggle, and so do you. So um, I'd rather talk about it and, uh, you know, converse and try and at least understand it. It doesn't mean it makes it any easier. So yeah, I've been thinking about, you know, competing and whatnot and what my plans are. And, you know, obviously I signed up with Milos and she have the intentions of at least doing another show, going out on my terms. It's weird, isn't it? Because I feel like I ain't achieved shit, but then, you know, I look at trophies I have and I look at them and I wonder how the hell I made them happen. I'm, I'm like, are they even mine? Are they real? You know, all my amateur career, the trophies, then my pro wins, the free pro wins I've had. I'm like, looking from the outside of me, I would have never thought I had the potential or capabilities to achieve any of that or anywhere near that. And even though I've done it, it doesn't feel like I have. That feeling there, that weird feeling is what keeps me going because I'm wondering if it's just because I haven't quite done enough that it hasn't satisfied me. Or do I just, feel this way because I feel this way you know I just don't ever think that there's much potential in me that it just never it's never going to click that even if I do win at things even if I do exceed expectation that my own opinion of myself will always be stronger than the reality of what's happened <laughs> you know sometimes you feel like you're an out of date bodybuilder yeah I was at the Olympia just just gone this year just gone like I won a pro show last year literally won a, a, a really good pro show in Italy the um the tsunami cup against some f mint bodybuilders. And then I, I, you know, and two weeks before that, I placed third at a really Arnold Classic UK where the winner was Andrew Jack. <laughs> it's weird. I think um, your support network is so important. Like this is something that's like kind of, I suppose coming to my mind right this minute is that having people around you that say you're great. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you shouldn't have smoke blown up your ass. But at the same time, it starts with, um, a thought and a belief and a belief can turn into a physical thing and I have noticed like I don't really put myself around people is I'm a bit of a loner and I think that's probably why I have a difficult time believing in myself because again look I'm just driving around going to a supplement shop on my own could have could have messaged any of my friends that I know are about on a Sunday and said do you want to catch up but I, I just don't do that I just I don't know and I think that comes down to my personality I need to get in that space bruv you're gonna move People part like fucking idiots, bruv, and I'm, I'm gonna get really annoyed. If things don't, if like, you know, it's only been a few months since the Olympia, that's enough time for me to feel like I stagnate, even though to some people it would be a lifetime goal to get to the Olympia, and if they did that, they could probably live in happiness after the fact. Whereas I, I just can't, I'm just like, I don't know, it's like, what do I do next? How do I, how do I step up? How do I get better? How do I be better? Um, and, and, you know, that's again, that's why I signed with Milos, because it's, um, I said it on the, the AMA, like the, the, the passion the geezer has. Realistically, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm just hoping that some of it rubs off on me. It's a big ask and it's not, you know, his place. 
to have to reinstall that in someone else. So I'm hoping from an organic perspective, it just does that. Uh, and time will tell, like, you know, I'm the man, I get the job done regardless. Like I, I've, I'm gonna get the shows done next year. The show or the shows, I don't know how many, but there's at least one more in me. And I'm gonna get it done. And it's just now whether it's gonna feel good doing it or not. <laughs> and uh, I would like it to feel good. Last year, the Arnold felt really good because I did it on my own terms. I was, I've said it before, but I was like going skating and stuff like on my rest days and I didn't let bodybuilding consume me too much. I was very much under the mindset like, oh, you can be one of the best in the world because you've been doing it long enough to be able to be that and enjoy yourself. It worked for a time. And then um, I think as the, uh, the Olympia came about, that show in itself, you can go to it and you always want to do well. And, and obviously the pressure at Olympia is the highest pressure because it's the, it's the rankings of where you are in the world. And um, going there brings something out of you that you don't necessarily like about yourself. Well, for me at least, it brings out this um, anxiety, like competitive anxiety, which I think you can win and be a great competitor without feeling competitive. And when I mean feeling competitive, not feeling like you can't compete, but I mean feeling like you don't need to compare. Because bodybuilding is so subjective. I feel like if you just, ha if you rate yourself, if you're like, yeah, do you know what? I like what I look like, I'm good. Turn up and do your thing, you can win. And then there's no damage done because you felt good anyway. And that's, that's something I'm just trying to, trying to find again, man. I know these videos are quite long and they do, they ramble on a lot, but it's kind of therapy for me. I went and saw some, phys I, I saw a therapist for like one or two, I think only one time. I spoke to a lot of people, it was about speaking to people. And I, I went one time, kind of let everything out and uh, should really go back. <laughs> the nature of bodybuilding is that it, uh, it feels like, um, it doesn't leave you of much, for anything else and I think even with that I was like oh yeah I've got to crack back on tomorrow you know there's shows to be done there's progress to be made there's shows to win and those things always come before no matter what it is even if it's something that could help heal yourself you know I said it on my Instagram story I was in the mindset to go and visit my mum's um, ashes and uh, my thoughts were initially like yeah it's great do it and then bodybuilding James like I said kicked in and it's like yeah, but then it's, you know, it's three hours of driving. It's not your mum anyway, it's just ashes. You know, your mum physically isn't there. So does it matter? And then I'm trying to like justify it. I'm like, I don't know, like, what do I really think? I'm trying to find out what my own beliefs are. Do I believe it matters? Do I believe it doesn't? I don't know. Because <laughs> if someone else, like my cousin, his dad passed away, he was my mum's brother. And I, and I don't know what he does. I don't know if he visits his, if he has the ashes or visits his dad's ashes, I don't know. Maybe I should reach out. Does he feel the same as me? I don't know. I think as I've got older, I've just got like really like, um, things feel like really black and white and everything feels very matter of fact. I don't really like being that way. I used to like feeling very fantastical and like magic could happen. Glory, you know, warrior story, get to the gym, do the treadmill, work hard, become a legend. <laughs> and then I think what happened is that shit got played real. That shit's been played so much now because social media is projecting that same message thousands and thousands of time in my face a day that it's not attractive anymore. Because it used to be like, you walk down the road, you stood out and I feel like that, that standing out was always the attraction and the allure to me was to be different, to stand out and to fucking set my own path, you know, do something that felt purposeful and not be the same old fucking shit everyone else was. And then now it's like, I sound like a bitter old man because it feels like I, got myself involved with something that wasn't overly popular and now it's super popular and I feel pushed out. And that is, I suppose, the long and short of it. I don't find it attractive anymore. I just don't find it has the same attraction. And this is where I was, again, full circle. Keep passionate about this shit. Well, I'm gonna go into the shop and 50% uh, of people will watch this video and be like, fuck listening to him. That's cool. And I, I totally get it. Totally get it. You're, you're more than entitled to that. Would I listen to myself? Probably not. If I found myself feeling like I do, yes, I'd listen to myself. So it's, you know, these videos are just for people that feel the same. And, it, and, it, and I suppose it doesn't have to be bodybuilding. It's just, you have to, it's whatever it is. You know, if you just basically, if you just find yourself at a point in your life where you're sort of like just trying to figure out your cause, what is your purpose? And um, if, if it feels like it's shifting or, or the things need to change. So yeah, guys, I, I will be back on YouTube. Um, but I don't want to push you out there, that's just pointless. If it doesn't resonate with me, I won't put it out. Um, I can show you how to dumbbell curl, show you how to bicep curl. But, you know, if you want 
to know how to train. I've got enough videos already teaching some of my methods, and if you like my methods, they're there. I'd rather just do a vlog. So, yeah, man, I do appreciate you all. Keep your chins up. I know there's a lot of good out there, and I think it's down to us to put ourselves around it. We do have a choice. We can stay in an environment like this that doesn't work with us and wears us down slowly, or we can choose to change. And change is scary. Like I said earlier, it can be very fearful because it's not what you're used to. But at the same time, if you don't take the risk, don't get the reward. So um, I just hope you'll listen to yourselves and uh, make the most of your time. God bless, and I'll see you all very soon.